NASA just found new evidence of the mysterious Planet X. The excitement surrounding a potential new planet beyond Neptune draws attention to the extensive and legitimate hunt for planets at the outside of our solar system. A team of astronomers in Sweden were cautiously excited when they believed they had discovered a brand new object at the farthest limits of the solar system. They rapidly shared their findings online, allowing other astronomers to confirm their work, rather than delaying to go through the drawn-out scientific publishing process. The cause of the commotion? A new, sizable body that may potentially be related to the long-sought Planet X has been discovered, according to the research team, outside Pluto's orbit. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today, we will be taking a look at what NASA just found as a new evidence of Planet X. Make sure to stick till the end of this video, as we have a lot to cover. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video as it helps us a long way. And let's dive in. Stars like our sun seldom occur independently, according to research that has been going on for a while. In most cases, close sister stars are dispersed, one or more of them. In order for the sun to form stars, massive molecular clouds must be packed with the gas and dust necessary for them to collapse under their own weight and start the internal ignition of nuclear fusion. The sun does not yet have a confirmed twin, which poses problems for our understanding of how stars form. Theoretically, two or more stars orbiting in tandem make up more than four out of every five star systems. With two stars orbiting a single mass center, the bulk of these systems are probably binary. According to estimates, such systems contain up to 85% of all stars. One of the first thorough investigations into the question of whether the Sun has ever had a twin was done in research that was published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society in 2007. The study was titled Embedded Binaries and Their Dense Cores. There have been a number of study papers published in the interim, but one particularly intriguing one was published in 2020, using modern technology to explore the central issue, which just so happens to bring the enigmatic Planet X into the conversation. Just what is Planet X? Until the late 18th century, it was believed that our solar system only contained six planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. All of these planets were easily seen through even the simplest telescopes, or in good seeing conditions, even with the unaided eye. The existence of an icy blue planet orbiting the Sun at a distance nearly 18 times greater than that of Earth was not found until 1781 by renowned astronomer Sir William Herschel. Initially thought to be a star, then a comet, the planet was first identified as such by Sir William Herschel. It is typically 1.8 billion miles from the Sun, but when they are most closely spaced from one another, they are separated by roughly 1.6 billion miles. Alternatively, they may be 1.98 billion miles away. One orbit of the Sun by Uranus takes 84 years to complete. As a side note, Sir William Herschel is credited with finding and documenting an additional 1,800 double stars and 2,500 nebulae in addition to being the first astronomer to correctly characterize the spiral structure of our Milky Way galaxy. Neptune was ultimately discovered by a trio of astronomers on the evening of September 23rd and 24th, 1846, but Herschel came very close to discovering it as well. Neptune has an incredibly interesting history that will take us even farther down the Planet X rabbit hole. The history goes like this. The planet Neptune was discovered using a telescope because, due to its immense distance from the Sun, it is too faint to be seen with the naked eye. The finding was based on mathematical calculations of its expected position due to observed perturbations in the orbit of the planet Uranus. Although a moon orbiting Neptune was quickly discovered, it took more than a century to find a second one. The scientific discoveries made by Voyager 2 during its flyby of distant Neptune in 1989 substantially expanded our understanding of the planet, including the confirmation of the planet's dark rings and the finding of five more moons. Even after the discovery of Neptune, however, the peculiar orbits of some dwarf planets and other small icy objects in the Kuiper Belt, which tend to follow orbits that cluster together, could not be fully explained. Studying the orbit has led some scientists to indicate that the large, yet-to-be-discovered planet may be concealed far beyond Pluto. How much do we know? The names suggested to this hypothetical planet are numerous, Nibiru, Tycho, and so forth, but we'll stick with Planet 9. 
If this planet is real, it would be orbiting beyond Pluto, that annoying dwarf planet, billions of light years away, in a region of the Kuiper Belt with little or no energy coming from the Sun. Its orbit would be quite elliptical, like many of the planets in the outer solar system. Exactly how much? Therefore, just one spin of the planet around the Sun would take between 7,400 and 18,500 years. Pluto was discovered in 1930, and, as a point of comparison, it has not yet completed one full orbit around the Sun. It is predicted that Pluto will take 248 years to complete one full revolution. NASA reports that Caltech researchers have discovered mathematical evidence pointing to the possibility of a Planet X deep in the solar system, which they have dubbed Planet 9. This hypothetical Neptune-sized planet orbits our Sun in a highly elongated orbit far beyond Pluto, and the object could have a mass about 10 times that of Earth. Planet 9 may have originated billions of years ago with the other planets in our solar system, or it may have only passed through briefly to cause a stir before vanishing once more, according to the evidence. According to NASA, Caltech astronomers Constantine Batagen and Mike Brown at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena announced new research in January 2015 that shows proof of a giant planet revealing an extraordinary elongated orbit in the outer solar system. The evaluation is based on extensive mathematical modeling and computer simulations, not direct observation. This large object could explain the unique orbits of at least five smaller objects discovered in the distant Kuiper Belt. Six trans-Neptunian objects in the Kuiper Belt were found to have orbits that appeared to be grouped together by Brown and Batagen. They postulated that this clustering was brought on by the gravitational pull of a massive planet that was 400 astronomical units or more away, hidden someplace in the extreme reaches of the outer solar system. Is there a connection? A new hypothesis put up by Harvard University researchers in the Astrophysical Journal Letters in 2020 claimed that there may have once been a binary companion to our Sun in addition to Planet Nine. The existence of a long-lost stellar binary companion in the Sun's birth cluster, the collection of stars that formed alongside the Sun from the same dense cloud of molecular gas, may be able to explain how the Oort cloud came to be as it is seen today, according to Dr. Avi Loeb, the Frank B. Baird Jr. Professor of Science at Harvard and Amir Siraj, a Harvard undergraduate student. The Oort cloud is thought to be a vast spherical shell that surrounds the Sun, planets, and Kuiper Belt objects and is made up of billions or trillions of ice space debris fragments that were left over from the solar system's birth. The origin of long-period comets is hypothesized to be it. The inner boundary of the Oort cloud is between 2 and 5 AU from the Sun, whereas the outer border may be up to 100,000 AU from the Sun, with 1 AU being the distance separating Earth from the Sun. For direct observation, the Oort cloud and the predicted position of Planet 9 are both located far too far away. However, a 10-year survey of the sky will start in 2022 at the Vera C. Rubin Observatory in Chile, which went online in 2021. It is anticipated that this will find hundreds more Kuiper Belt objects. It may be possible to confirm or refute the existence of Planet Nine and provide information about its origin and location by closely examining their orbits. And that ends our episode. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below your own thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.